Hi guys, I'm Ben Brooks and I'm an independent protection advisor here at Drew Insurance and today I'm going to talk you through income protection cover. So income protection cover, um, or otherwise known as accident and sickness cover, is designed to pay out a monthly benefit to you in the event that you can't do your job due to any kind of accident or sickness. So essentially the way to think of this is like a financial safety net. So if you can't continue to make these payments, to, I don't know, utilities, mortgage, etc., then you've got something in reserve as a backup that replaces your income when you can't work. So one of the first things that you'll take into account with income protection is how much to cover. So as a general market rule, we can arrange cover for up to 70% of your gross annual earnings. So if you're employed, then that would be your base salary. Uh, you can include commission, bonus as well. Um, and that works for a lot of people, but if this is more of a budget-driven exercise, then we can look to cover particular expenses. So before any application, we'll conduct an income and expenditure review. So if it's the case that you just want to cover maybe your mortgage repayments, utilities and groceries each month, then we can do that as well, which makes it more affordable too. One of the key things that we'll consider when arranging income protection is the policy term. Um, so for a lot of clients, it makes sense to run the income protection cover up until your state pension age. Um, the idea being, of course, that up until that point, you're going to have an income to protect. Now, again, going back to budget, there's always the option to maybe reduce the term. So instead of looking at a policy that runs up until your 65th birthday, you can look at, I don't know, a policy to age 60. And that has a direct impact on the cost. Now within the term, there's also the benefit period. This essentially means the amount of time that the insurers will pay the claim for on a monthly basis before they stop. Now usually to give the plans um, a lot of value long term, we recommend a benefit period that is gonna run for the entire duration of the policy. There's short term options whereby the insurers will pay out for one year or two years and then require you to go back to work before you can claim again, which they're lesser in cover, but again, more affordable when it comes to premium. So the deferred period, um, put really simply, is just the amount of time that you as the policyholder wait after you've made a claim before the insurers start paying out. So i.e. if you've got a one month deferred period, you make the claim, wait for one month, and then the insurance payments start coming through. Um, worth mentioning that you can have a deferred period as short as one week. Um, and if you've got the savings and the sick pay to last, then you could look at a deferred period for 12 months. So exclusions are a really, really important part of, of any protection policy. Um, as soon as that goes live, you need to understand if there are exclusions on the policy and of course how that's gonna impact any potential claim payout. Um, when it comes to income protection cover, anything that tends to be pre-existing in respect of any medical disclosures that you might have had symptoms of or treatment for in recent years, that tends to be excluded to begin with on the policy. Um, occasionally it can be reviewed at a later date by your advisor, which is always a bonus. And anything that is self-inflicted is typically an exclusion as well. Now, one of the benefits here though, is that by going through an advisor, um, we can have these discussions up front with the insurer. So we'll be able to preempt you on what these exclusions could be, and of course, how it's going to affect your policy. So insurance is a really, really jargon heavy industry. Um, there's a lot of different moving parts and there's a lot to take in and try and understand. And I think that by working with a broker, you've got someone in your corner that streamlines that entire process and makes sense of it all. Um, we're trained to do that, we have to do that. And because of the regulations within the industry, we know that there's not going to be a circumstance where we set something up that isn't fit for purpose. Um, the biggest thing that you'll have to do if you're working with an advisor is to just simply answer the questions truthfully. We know what questions we need to ask and when to ask them, and we, we make the whole process run smoothly. Um, also, we're regulated by the FCA, so if anything were to go wrong, you're, you're better protected. And on top of that, there's no fee. This is all free for you. There's no additional cost of working with a brokerage. Um, and the premiums are the same. And it won't just be 
us doing the work now, it's the years to come as well. These policies are in place for a long time and we'll review it annually to make sure that everything is, is still what it should be.